Hello everyone, we will be talking about next chapter that is SIDS. So I will explain what are the SIDS that data type and how they are different from string list tuples that we already discussed. Right? So now to represent a group of unique values as a single entity, we use SIDS. So basically we have seen in list we are defining them with the square bracket, tuples we are defining them with the round bracket, strings were defined with the single quotes, and now, whenever we are talking about sets, it is defined with curly braces. Okay. So, your one uh, unique point in sets is that there are no duplicates items allowed inside sets. For example, in tuple we have seen, we can use duplicate element in tuple as well. Right. But in sets, we only should have identical elements, not the duplicate one. Insertion order is also not preserved. That means, in list, your first element was called with its index of 0. Similar was the case with tuple. But inside sets, you have to call it with the key of that element. So, basically indexing and slicing, that's why is not allowed in sets. Right? So, basically whenever I am saying set of 1, that means I am calling with the element name rather than its index. Okay? So, that is a highlighted difference between list tuple and sets now set are mutable so that means you can just go and assign different values to set and from outside and that value will get updated we can represent the set element with curly braces and comma separation that we have seen this curly braces and these are comma separated values there are different mathematical operations that we can perform in different sets for example we have these two sets and now we have to perform union, intersection, differences, etc. We can perform then that we have we will see in next slide. So basically how to create set. There are different ways just like how we have seen list can be created with this empty. Tuple can be created or even empty way. So similar way wherever you wanted to create a set you can just do curly braces values comma separated that is set or otherwise Whatever the list is there, you can just typecast it seeing set of L. And that one will be converted to sets. Right? Whatever the list that you are talking about, it will be converted. Also, you can use the range function. We have seen range function will do 5 means 0 to 4. All these elements will be considered. And then set means it will convert it to opening and curly braces. So that's why 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 will be printed as a set. So, there is a one important point to note here is that to create empty set, we have to take a special care. Why? If at all you are just seeing uh, just like a list, just like tuple, I am just creating this way and seeing it is as a set, it will be raw. Right? It is a dictionary instead of set. So, that's, that's why whenever you wanted to create empty set, you always have to do it this way. That is set of empty values. So, this is a special uh, note in seeds. Then there are different operations like union. That means we are just adding these two seeds and checking uh, what is the final output. Then we have intersection. That means what are the common elements in those? What are the differences? What is the symmetric differences? So, all of these different operations that we have seen in operators as well. Now, so basically whenever I am talking about union that means we are talking about or intersection means and differences means subtraction and then we have XOR operations with, uh, with symmetrical differences all of these outputs are printed over here so now we will see all these examples in Jupyter notebook and similar way these are the definitions that I was talking about to define the shift and just um, running them with the shift enter then we have functions like different functions are there in set as well for example um, we are defined one set s with the values of 10 20 and 30 so i wanted to add a value similar way inside uh, our list we used to do append or insert with the indexes so here you can just directly use dot add method to add this element to the set now to update you can just use this l in the range of 5 and then print s c so output will be uh, just let me uh, do shift enter work here and I will just minimize a bit so that we will have all those output okay so here whenever you are adding 
this 40 is added at the first right because we do not have indexing and slicing in the seeds that is a key important point it is not going to get added at last it is going to add it at first now we have this we are just updating with the range of for you so all this will be added to first and then we will have remaining values as it is from our list when you are doing the copy we can just see all the element will be copied and one more set will be created similar to the original one now whenever i am talking about pop method in list it was removed it was removing only the last element right but inside of sheet it will just remove and return random element from the sheet because we do not follow indexing so that's why whenever you are doing l.pop so it will pop out the random element so it has popped out first element over here now whenever you are talking about discard method so this 10 element it will check if this element is there inside a set if then then only it will remove it if it is not there then we won't get any error but whenever we are saying as dot clear it will just remove all the elements from the set and print empty set right see this is an definition of empty set this here to be noted that there are no opening and closing empty values right that will be considered as dictionaries now whenever instead of the discard if you are using remove method it will check if that value is there inside that set if not it will give an error saying the value is not there available in your set so that is the difference between remove and discard this will be one of your good interview question then there are different operations that we have seen that is union intersection differences and symmetrical differences so i will just run those and we can see all addition subtraction and then XOR operations are being performed on these two sheets. So that is it about the sheets. We will see in our next uh, chapter with the dictionaries. Thank you.